Okay, guys. Uh, got it pretty well cleaned up. Uh, there's a couple of nicks on the very back side. I'm going to have to take a file to and just touch them up a little bit. Otherwise, she's cleaned out, cleaned up, and ready to have the new bushings put in. Now, I haven't got the new ones out of the box yet to see how they look or fit or what about them. So, let me grab one and open up see what we got. I can remember where they're at. and figure out the silly box. Okay. And... We have... a brand new... Oh, yes. This will make putting it together so much simpler. I just got to put it in the right way, such as that. Because there's a groove cut into it across to this outside edge. Then go all the way across it. This goes to the inside, this to the out. That way it can get lube, grease, inside of it. Uh, so, T07. VCI Nanotechnology Armor Wrap. Howell, Michigan, Stony Creek, Ontario, Canada. Must be some good stuff. So, this is made just a hair different than the other one. And the fact that it's got a tapered edge. Oh. Uh, well, that's going to be cleaned up rough. Let me study on this a bit, guys, before I go fixing to make a mistake. I also have the seals, and there's a felt washer that goes inside. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Hmm. Let me do some studying, guys, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys. Me and Pops have been having a discussion about things. And I got the other side in. 
and the seal. But I wanted to talk about this a little bit. When you get these new bushings, there's a line cut ground in them for a grease passageway. One side it goes all the way to the edge, the other side it doesn't. You have to look at that. On a pulley like this, this side that doesn't go to the edge goes out. Like so. Now, there are several ways you can do this. You can press it in, get a big board and tap on it. Uh, I'm not telling anybody what to do or how to do it, but I have a nice brass punch or copper, one of the two, and it comes in mighty handy for just such things. So, just do a little tapping. And she's going in the crooked. Yep. And you just work your way around it. I did grease the inside up before I started this. Not trying to kill it. And it's in there. Now, well, 
put a little bit of grease behind the seal before we put it in and should say the lip goes to the inside not the outside because if you put it this way the grease will push right past it and it's just a matter of simply A little tapping. <coughs> and it is in there. <coughs> now, theoretically, it's ready to go back on the combine. So, as soon as I get to that side of the machine, this is ready to go. Uh, still haven't figured out the felt washer. I know it goes inside, in between. Uh, I'm figuring that one out. <laughs> you know? Just one of those things. But any rate, guys, that's how you do that. And we'll be back here in a moment. Okay. Well, it's the end of the day, guys. Uh, I've gotten a lot of little stuff done. And me and Pop are sitting here in the shade, in front of the fan, cooling off. I had to fix his lawnmower this morning. That is the cheapest thing I have ever seen in my life put on a lawnmower. Used to have a cast uh, flywheel on top that had the veins in it for the cooling fan made into it. Well, I've got so cheap now that they can save a couple of bucks and put plastic in it. Uh, yeah. Yep. Tracking him. Now, when I say planes are low, that's low. <laughs> But the man, the pop, is going to call it a day. He's going over the damages for his lawnmower repair, which is plum ridiculous. Yeah. Forty-five bucks to replace this stupid thing. And they've made this, made these mowers, so they break. You burn it up, and then you come buy a new one. That's an absolute joke. What is it? This is what I had to replace oh. on his mower. Not much. Not much money, you know. It's ridiculous. They gave me a whole watermelon. You want some of it? Nah, I got one at home. You do. So guys, I think we're going to call it a day here. I pretty much got what I wanted done today. Got his lawnmower fixed. I got this pulley fixed. 
Oh. Like and a work. bunch of other stuff done. So I'm going to call it a day. And go home and enjoy myself for a little bit. So we we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Any, any parting words, Father Dearest? Hmm. That shop sent you a card that you get 10 or 15% off. Oh, Shop did? August the 6th. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's already over. <laughs> well, maybe it's September the 6th. August the 20th. Something's over. <laughs> September the 6th. Yeah. We'll see you next time, then, guys. Are you about to have a conniption about that? <laughs> it is a bit ridiculous price, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys.